Hey, yo, Shalom. All praises to the Most High. Your whole, your whole, with us to sound some YYBY. All right, so now, what I want to talk about is that, you know, while I record, while I like recording a artist in the same room that I'm in. Now, before I talk about that, I done been to the, the top studios, done worked in some of the top studios in cities like Atlanta, uh, and Philly. Um, I done worked around a lot of analog, used different analog from the SSL. I don't, you know, I don't record it in acoustic night studios. I recorded in the worst damn studios, the rundown in the hood studios. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't hooked up things where we recorded in the bathroom and, and then, you know, trying to get the sound of the reverb, you know, stuff like that. I don't record it with eggshells on the walls. You know, I don't record in the hottest rooms, you know, uh, turn a closet into a booth. I don't record it in professional booths, you know, so I don't experience both. And I'm glad I did because now nobody can't fool me about what works and what don't work. <laughs> Because the end of the day is about what you really fucking know. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be real with y'all. It's about what the hell you know. And you know, don't let people trick you. You know, uh, it's about putting the time and the work in and really, you know, uh, know what you're doing. And come with time and experience. So now, one of the main reasons why I like to record in the studio in the same room with the artist is that um, so I can vision what they're doing more. I'm right there with them. I can see exactly what they're doing. Yeah, you can see in a booth, you know, you can see in like a little glass room and sometimes a certain distance and everything. And a lot of the times, you know, engineers like to have that booth, you know, facing their eyes. They like to see the booth, you know, like that, you know, instead of seeing the booth this way or seeing the booth that way through a glass. You know, sometimes you can see the mic techniques. When I'm closer, I can see the mic techniques. I can see exactly what they're doing. I can see how they're doing it, you know, more than seeing it from a distance of when they're in a certain booth, you know, um, based on if they're in the booth also where it might be dim or it's dark. You know, when I say mic techniques, I'm talking about how they present themselves to the mic, how high, how low, you know, or, uh, you know, uh, how far back they're from, how close they need to be. Are they grabbing the microphone? Are they grabbing the pop stop? Why are you moving that stuff? Like many things that I can say help them out and say, okay, this is what you need to do because sometimes they come in and they do those things. And they touch those things. So um, I'm closer to you and I can vision that type of stuff. You know, um, also, if I need to take pictures while you're recording, you know, get certain vibes and everything, you know, make an artist feel special. The number two thing is that. If something go wrong, if they say, hey, where's well, a delay in my headphones, something don't sound right in the headphones. You know, it, it, you know, whatever they complain about, you know, I got to get up, go to walk inside the booth, listen to it, mic check, say something in the mic, come right back, go to the computer, do this, boom, boom, boom. Sometimes you'll have a screen in there. Some studios have a screen in there and another extra keyboard and the computer and all that. But, you know, you could do it that way. Um, but you got to walk in there, come back and, and, and mic check and see what's going on and see what the problem is, you know, uh, compared to if it's right here in a certain space or a distance from me, I can go back and forth real quick. I'll go back and forth real quick to see what, if it's a delay. Because some artists will say it's a delay, but it's really not a delay. It's just that they playing mind tricks on themselves, you know, because they're trying to find every excuse why they don't sound right. You know, it be that too sometimes. And sometimes it's really a delay. And I'm like, it's a delay. So I'm like, okay, this is what I got to do. Or it might be some fuzz or you'd be surprised. Technology and computers, man, you're running to so many issues. You, you'd be surprised. You, 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 you be like, damn, I ain't even hear that. Or they might hear something on their end, but I'm not hearing it on my end. It could be a buzz. It could be a, you know, white noise, whatever it is. So, but when you hearing it and you testing it back and forth, I can go back and forth, press and play and try different things compared to walking all the way in the room, coming back. And the last thing that, um, why I, this is the main thing why I love to, you know, deal with the artist close up is because of communication, communication people. And what I mean by that is that they can see what I'm doing again. Yeah. You can have that screen in there inside the booth and, and, uh, and, you know, have like the, you know, whatever, whatever they decide to hook up, but they can see what I'm doing on my big screen. I, we could point. 
things out with each other. I can say, okay, I'm about to start right here. You know, I can show them right here while they looking, turn around, they look, and I say, okay, so I'm going to start you right here, but you just come in right here, right? They'll be like, yeah, okay, got you. And they, they be looking at the mic and they look at the screen. They It's better communication. It's better communication, you know, with, with all type of things. When, you, when you're explaining issues, when you're explaining they should have came in a little step forward, whatever it is in detail that you need to explain when you're dealing with artists with a, with a bad beat or they, they rap in the wrong way and they don't understand why it's sounding that way or whatever it is, I'm adding an effect on the track, anything of that nature, I can show them. Not only I can show them, I can explain and show them at the same time pointing it out instead of me going walking in the booth and going to the screen to show them and then come back all that type of stuff no i can press play and you know everything like that so to me it's a better vibe more faster communication you know uh a closer understanding of an artist building a relationship closer compared to you've been in the booth all by yourself lonely you know uh i think it's to me it's a, a faster bond when when we right here next to each other, you know, we're not close up to each other. You know, I don't know if you can see my my my, my area, but you know, but yeah. So, uh, but end of the day, regardless of how you record, if it's in the booth or not, you got to know what the hell you're doing. This is YYBY. Peace.